just hit nine o'clock. I'm just about done. The keywords they're the same as the rulership. So you find the the person with a moon in Aquarius. I need to use things. I need to be practical in the Capricorn. In Aquarius, I need to know things. The need is the moon. The feelings. I feel. I know. I need to know. Can you? I feel. I need respect. I believe. I know. It's really imaginative that Jupiter is. In Pisces, I believe, whereas in Sagittarius, I understand. Everyone goes through this. They see the overview. The Aries says, I am doing whatever I'm doing. So it's still the Mars rulership. I desire a Scorpio. I desire you. I have the passion for you. The lust. I want to do this for you. This is the Mars and Scorpio. I desire. So when, when you move, the moon will just pick up this as one of the qualities of how it expresses. And if you get fixated there, it can become a bigger complex. Taurus moon, what you have, you need to. You need to have things. You need to have security. You need to have nice things, nice clothes, or you feel bad because you don't have them. Leave. I need to balance or harmonize. I need to like what you like, or we need to like things mutually and share things. With Moon and in, in Gemini, it's I'm thinking. I need to think. I need to think. I'm thinking about this. What do you think about this? It's analyzing. It's thinking about everything it feels. It starts talking and thinking the minute it feels anything, and even when it's not feeling things, it's talking about it. The analyzing gets a feeling. It's this way. It's a more critical, self-critical, trying to be critical of my habits. Oh, you look like you took off weight. Yeah, but not enough weight. You know, but it's it, it's it's healing. But every everyone can be healing. But the word, key words just give you a way in. Like the moon in Cancer is I feel. So the moon, the feeling planet, in the sign of I feel, it's really going to accentuate the feelings in a strong way. The sun, I will. So the moon will. Have, your feelings will come in, and they'll say, "Well, I have to do this. I will do this. I will do that." It'll have, it'll take on things in a fixed way. What they will do, and they'll live for that willfulness, rather than just trusting any feelings. So here's the whole package. You could then go through the colors on each sign, and how the colors affect the feelings. So you might feel secure wearing certain colors. If you're an Aries moon, you might feel secure wearing the primary colors, red, yellow, blue, but you might not want to wear green. If you're Libra, you wear green, you might not want to wear red or amber or the dark blue. You might want to have something more pleasant. So all of, and so where the moon is, is going to bring up each of these categories. We've gone through all of them up to the colors. And don't ignore the colors. They're useful, but you can see them. There'll be a need to have that color in their life in some way. And if there's bad aspects or it's an afflicted moon and the moon's difficult, there may be a version of that color. And you hence you could get into color therapy by getting someone to no matter what's ha what aspects are happening, no matter what houses are there, you're still trying to get the best develop the best attitude for the moon, for your lifestyle, for your basic needs, for your feelings. So that if you're feeling good now, you can let go of the past and be content in the moment. Then your moon is really alive and open. Okay. So that's the end of what I have to say. I'm just going to look. There's a question here. I just got to try and see it. It's a big question. I can't see all the words. Um, oh, I see. Depression is a habit of negative. Would I say that depression is a habit of negative thinking? Negative behavior causes negative thinking. So. And, and yes, definitely depression. There's a habit side of depression. The habits you have that are self-doubting or negative thinking or, or not, not being attached to things. Oh, I'll never get this or I'll never get that. You're thinking, but thinking is one thing. The depression is, I can't live to deal with this. I'm not going to change this. I'm stuck in this lifestyle. Yeah, so it is tied to the moon. But the negative thinking is one thing. Negative reflection. That change, So if you're depressed, if you can smile a little bit each day or be happy or you got a bad habit and you fix it a little bit of each day, not every day, but you get win a little battle each day, it cheers it up and it changes it. So the moon is totally involved with depressions. How do you change the habit? How do you leave up? Well, how do you get out of the sinkhole of negative feelings and reflections? And that's your sense of security. If I have this, if I'm if I'm feeling depressed, I'm no good, I'm not this is depressed, that's going to work out for me. You're feeling, and then you're taking that feeling and projecting it into the future, saying, because I feel this, or because this happened to me, I'll never get out of here. So you're imposing your, your negative memory on what's supposed to be your positive hopes for the sun to the future. 
So you get afraid of taking your own confidence of the sun, and you indulge your Mercury, your mind, and your Venus in a dark way, and you indulge, and it can get really critical till it's a life. Any bad habit can be a life and death thing. I mean, living is a life and death experience. So the chart is dealing with things that make you work better, give you more time, or encourage you, or the things that are, we get hurt. We have things that cause really negative thinking, which when it's there and you realize that the depression is there, it's not acceptable. But you feel it's justified because there's so much difficult stuff from the past. Something so bad happened, I can never get that again. I'll never meet that person again. And if you add a guilt to it or something, boy, it builds up so strong. It's easier, well, I'm depressed, so I better have a drink to forget about it. I'm depressed, I'll take these painkillers, get rid of Like It's so easy, or I'll have a bucket of chocolate, you know, like or ice cream or something. Like It's so easy to trade off. So if you get depressed and you trade off by chocolate or ice cream, you're going to put on weight. It's going to affect your moon, your lifestyle. Then you get more depressed because you're not, you're too big, can't get down. The moon's always changing, but it is involved in habits. So if you're trying to fix it, you're going to try and find habits that allow the noble side of that sign of the moon to come in. And if they can just get any little thing, it starts realigning the memories of today so that tomorrow it's a little bit lighter, a little bit better, and a little bit more my way. You're not going to get a moon in Capricorn, which can eat, normally is normally depressed or serious. You know, you're not going to get that moon in Capricorn. Oh, just say and show your feelings. No. You get to, you want a bit of respect, you got to work towards it. you got to work through that mood. You can't just indulge it. Why are you holding on to all that? And it's a dialogue that one has to come to. That's where therapy comes in if you're trying to communicate that. But astrology is the map that lets you see these things. And when you, you have the theory and you're seeing the good things of the theory, so it's not enough to fix it to the Experience. Once you have experience in seeing someone, you say, oh, they're depressed. And you look at the chart and say, oh, it's there. There's one of the reasons. Then you might see the transit, see other things are coming into it. But no matter what happens, you have to live your life 24 hours. And you need eight hours of sleep. You need, you know, you need three meals or two meals. You need, well, if you have the coffee and you're being so busy and you're, not, and you're only sleeping five, six hours a day, a lot of people try and do that through their 20s and 30s, but by their 40s, they're sick if it doesn't happen sooner. So, yeah, depression is the weight of the world and feeling that it's all against you or it's not fitting in or you'll never get your life back again. It's, it's wrong. It's not true. You can, but because you've been hurt, because your feelings are hurt, because you don't feel secure, why bother doing it if I'm not going to feel secure? The other side of the logic is why... Would you feel secure if you don't bother doing it? Why would you expect to be secure if you don't bother doing it? So they're gateways. Gateways in, going into the complex of depression. Yes, there's definitely a habit side involved in it. It's not only the habit side, but that's a big part of it. The solution is how to set the life and change the life. So you believe in yourself again. You're alive again. You're not just living in the past, walking backwards into everybody. Or if you think of memories as chains, you're not just hitting everybody with, with the chains of your depression so they're paying attention to you. So, and that paying attention, a certain sign will involve, well, I'm depressed because no one's where I want to be. That would be something like a, a winter and nighttime is greater sign moon. The moon in Aries to Virgo, I'm, I'm depressed because I can't do my own thing. Everyone's stopping me. There's different slides of how that depression can go. So, by you know the problem, you see the problem. When you start going through the science, you just go through each factor and compare each each layer has something to tell you that's unique and very special. And when someone's living it, you say, Oh, they're doing that perfectly. Or they say, Oh, why are they doing that? It's not fitting with that. They're not fitting with this. And you see something that's missing. It's telling you the places that need attention. So, okay, that was a really good question. Um and I think that's the only question, so we're going to leave it now. For next week, you've got it. We're going to do Mercury. So get your Mercury worksheets. If you haven't got the worksheets, send me an email. Uh, well, actually, I'll just send you all the links of this webinar, last week's webinar, and all the links to the downloads and things. And you can take what you need. If you already got the ones, you don't need to download the ones again. But I'll send you links to all of them. Take me a few hours to get this together on this end. And then um, we'll take it from there. Okay, thanks. I'll see you. Um, I'll see you next 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 Tuesday. Okay. Good night.